Hello and welcome to Pastors Library. This is the channel where we talk everything to do with theology books, books that might be on a reading list for a seminary course, for a bachelor's or master's degree in biblical studies or theology, or maybe just books that you've seen on the bookshelf in a store or in your pastor's library or your vicar's bookshelf. Uh, whatever it is, we're here to talk those books. And if you like what we're saying, please leave a thumbs up for us on YouTube. It makes a lot of difference uh, for the algorithm. And if you subscribe, which is absolutely free, also that helps us distribute this more widely. You just click on the bell and that will also let you know when we release another episode of Pastor's Library. So today I want to talk about a particular author, a really quite profound man who died in 2016. He was 85 when he died. Uh, his name is Kenneth E. Bailey. And uh, the book that mainly attracted me to him was this one, Jesus Through Middle Eastern Eyes. Ken Bailey's unique selling point was that he spent 40 years working in uh, the Middle East. And he had a very good understanding of Arabic. His range of degrees were, were quite complete. And he really did understand a lot more than you and me about how the Arab mind works, how the Middle Eastern person thinks. And we believe that he was able to adapt that to first century thought. Kenneth Bailey wrote this book, which is very profound, which is subtitled Cultural Studies in the Gospels. And it takes you through the Gospels from Nativity uh, to Resurrection. It does a number of things. I mean, firstly, for example, it corrects our thinking about the Nativity play as being anywhere near an accurate representation of what uh, the Gospels say. And uh, it also questions who were the Magi and where did they come from? What was their method of thinking? And there's a great section on Jesus and women. Uh, I mean, this is once again right up there at the moment in the relativity to uh, where our culture is. If you like, it's right up there in the zeitgeist again, uh, because uh, he shows consistently how Jesus treated women well and how he listened to them and how he went out of his way to talk to them. Something which this book tells us was culturally totally wrong and bizarre. Also, uh, this book looks at a number of the parables and helps us to understand them in light of the culture of the day. I would say to you, this book, when I first read it, was simply a breath of fresh air. Bailey has added something to our understanding of um, our Bibles, which is invaluable. Invaluable. A breath of fresh air. Absolutely fantastic. And if you only had to buy one of his books, this would be the one I would offer you. Now... Uh, it's also worth saying that um, he's written other books about parables, for example, The Cross and the Prodigal. And I can only say to you, if you are ever anticipating preaching on the prodigal son, you must read this first, because this really helps us understand what Near Eastern peoples understood by the parable so that we aren't just westernising everything, which is, of course, a problem. You know, we westernise everything. We believe everything through the eye of um, the American cinema, and everything is applied to, to that. And we, we actually need to realise a little bit more what it was like in those days. Uh, so, without going into too many spoilers, this one is a, is a definite reader. There's also this book, which is two previous books put together in one paperback, which is only sort of 187 pages, so it's, it's not too hard. Poet and Peasant and Through Peasant Eyes uh, combined. You can buy them separately and maybe secondhand. Uh, if you bought it new, it would be this now. And this uh, simply, again... 
is, is trying to give us a literary cultural approach, particularly to the parables of Jesus. It talks in, in this book about the cultural problem in interpreting scripture. It talks about the size of that problem. It talks about how we might deal with that problem. And of course, Bailey offers great levels of insight, particularly when you look at parables like uh, the debtors, uh, the Good Samaritan. Uh, these are really well explained in this volume. So that's also one worth considering. I did say in the Jesus Through Middle Eastern Eyes that he debunks the myth of the nativity play. This book, Open Hearts in Bethlehem, actually is a modified nativity play, one that's biblically accurate. And uh, it's very good. You can actually get a CD of music specially designed for it. If you follow his rules, you can perform this without any prior permission, which has got to be good. Um, and it's, it's very, uh, very worthwhile. So Open Hearts in Bethlehem. I've only got two more of his volumes. There are a couple that I'm price watching at the moment, which I'm hoping to add to my collection. But this one is called The Good Shepherd. Makes me think of uh, Keith Green's album Songs for the Shepherd. But this is, of course, about Psalm 23. And it's 288 pages about Psalm 23. And you have to ask yourself, is there that much to be said? And then when you open these pages, you realise, oh, yes, there is. Uh, for example, and this is just one throwaway freebie for you. When he gets to the bit where it says, you prepare a table for me in the midst of my enemies, he talks about this and says, this is just simply a mistranslation because we prepare tables. But in Jesus's day and in the, the days of the Psalms, they didn't prepare the table, they prepared the meal. And so he, he argues that the, the translation is best you prepare a meal for me in front of my enemies. And that's uh, a, a quite a, a different emphasis. Of course, some modern translations have already incorporated that. Uh, but I'd like to bet that many of them had read Bailey before they translated. This is a sort of a, why haven't I seen this before book? This is one of those books you read it and think, oh, why, why didn't I work that out? Well, the reason is, is you didn't have 40 years living in the Middle East which Bailey has had. So I would suggest to you, Kenneth Bailey is an excellent author to follow. His books are still quotable in the main for degree level. And what I would really say is that um, whether or not you're studying for an essay or whether you're just studying for preaching, I would suggest to you Kenneth Bailey has an awful lot to offer. There is just one other book uh, that I want to mention, which is uh, the sister book to Jesus Through Middle Eastern Eyes, Paul Through Mediterranean Eyes, which is subtitled Cultural Studies in First Corinthians. And this is very specifically about 1 Corinthians. So if you're doing a study or a series on 1 Corinthians, this is definitely a good book to read. And this is a 2011 book. So this is quotable for years to come in essays. It has sections on the cross, on sexual sin, on Christians versus pagans, on worship of men and women in church, on the resurrection. All of these things are excellent, but the one that I would just uh, suggest that you think about is his section on the gifts of the Spirit. What he has to say on, on tongues versus prophecy, whatever your perspective on these things, Bailey has something to say on this. And it's really excellent. And as a card-carrying Pentecostal, I very much approve of what he says. Uh, but I can imagine that uh, a lot of people who are not from my background would also appreciate his words. So um, this is an excellent volume to add. So whatever your field of study, 
I would suggest to you Bailey has something to offer. If you are preaching a lot, he's definitely got something to offer. But whatever uh, you're calling, whatever you're leaning, Kenneth E. Bailey, uh, not to be confused with any of the other Baileys that are out there, is the man to watch. You have the advantage now that there's nothing new being published. Uh, so th this is a, a finite collection you can add to on your bookshelf. But can I suggest to you, uh, Jesus through uh, Middle Eastern eyes is an excellent place to start. Mm -hmm. I hope that's helped you. If it has, remember to give us thumbs up. Remember to subscribe. Remember to ring the bell. And we'll see you next time on Pastor's Library. Until then, bye. <laughs>